I've worked out how to pause my video as I go along, but you can pause me anytime you want. Um, I did forget something, I always forget something. Um, what I've done is, as well as my six pieces that I've just painted, and I've painted the inside as well, I kept back one of the pointy bits that I cut out of the egg box, um, because that's going to be the head of the fish, and I kept a little bit of extra scrappy bit um, for the tail of the fish. So now we're going to put it together, and I also did forget you need something sticky to put the eyes on. I've got some double-sided tape here, but you could use the glue, or you could use a Pritt stick, or some sellotape, really doesn't matter. It's an ornamental fish, so. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just stick the eyes onto oh double sided sticky we love it don't we it's so fiddly stick the eyes onto the head of the fish like that there's one and then we'll just stick the other one on you won't have my fingernails to help you do that this time I know we always end up passing the tape around so there's a little fishy head <clears throat> and oh, and the eye fell off. My paint's still a bit wet. I wasn't patient enough. And then with the tail, I've got my nice black marker, and I'm just going to draw some fishy lines on the tail. I'm also going to do this on all the body parts. So there you go. I've done some lines. I've now put holes in the top, in the middle. You can see just here in the middle. Um, of each of these pieces that I'm going to put the string through but before I do that I'm just going to add a bit of detail just to make it look even more funky and all of those on and then we're just going to put it together so you can pause this video anytime to catch up might be a good idea to pause it right now till you've done all of those bits and then I'm going to make a little hole in my tail at the top I'll show you where I've put it in a minute uh, I'll just cut a hole I've got a special drilling tool here but I know you haven't got one so I'm doing it your way okay there's a hole there and then I'm going to pop my string through that hole that I've made at the top of my fishy tail and tie a little knot so it doesn't go anywhere. And that's the beginning of building your fish. So there's the tail at the bottom. I'm going to cut my string off nice and long. You can always cut the rest off when you've finished. And I'm going to start with the body. So there's the end of your string with the tail at the bottom. And you're going to go underneath so that your fishy body is hanging down. Pull it down to the bottom. Do that with all of those. I'm going to pause because this is probably... Oh, no, I won't pause. I'll stay with you. You can pause while you're threading. Or you can do it along with me. We're all doing it together. Next bit of body. And the next bit of body coming up. Hold on. My string went a bit frayed at the top. Oh, I'm going to cut that bit off so I can thread it through more easily. You could make lots of these, maybe make different colours like rainbow fish and hang them in the window. I live by the sea so I love everything fishy. Okay. And we're nearly there. Hold on. Make my hole a little bit bigger. Put the last one on. So then you should have a nice fishy body. It's not very pretty, is it? But it's quite fun to do. And the last one you're going to do is putting it through. This is much more difficult, actually. Putting it through the head at the top. It's going through there. Get it to go through. I'm going to show you. 
So I'm just pasting it through that hole at the top, but it's very difficult. I'm sure you've got adult helpers at home that can show you. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to pause it, try and do it. Did it! <laughs> so there is my funny looking fish. Can you see him? Ooh, he should move around quite nicely. And then you can just hang him up in your window. Or gift him to somebody if anybody likes really ugly homemade gifts. I'm sure somebody loves you that much. Um, have fun. And if you've got any questions, you can email me or you can send me a message. That's for the Rosebriars Art Club. Otherwise, um, good luck to everyone else. See you soon.